Hi there, it's Matt from Readsy here. Today I'm going to show you how you can get your book ready for publication using the Readsy book editor. We're going to take this extract from Penguin History of the World and typeset it to a beautiful EPUB and print ready PDF file that you can use for publishing. We've spent a lot of time making sure our files are 100% compliant with all the major ebook stores and print on demand companies. Here you can see that much of the front matter has been generated for you, including a dedicated copyright page and table of contents. These sections are configurable, but I'll get to that later. As you can see, this PDF looks beautiful and abides to many advanced typesetting principles. Text is set to a baseline grid and reflows around images, headings, and other formats automatically. So let's get started by creating a book with the Rizzi Book Editor. So this is the Rizzi Book Editor. On the left, we have our stack of chapters, and on the right, the main editing window. So let's get started by importing our first chapter from Word. Simply copy and paste your text into the main editing window to import your chapter. We respect your existing formatting, keeping styles like headings, italics, and bold text without the need to reformat. You'll notice that so far we've been creating chapters in the front matter section. Books are usually split into three matters, front, body, and back. The front matter precedes the main chapters of your book and can contain sections like your introduction or prologue. Next, we have the body matter, which holds all of your main chapters. The back matter can contain index and notes. Let's continue by adding our first chapter to the foundations. You can move chapters by simply dragging and dropping them within the sidebar. Next thing to do is import that chapter from Word by again copying and pasting. Here is a good example of the Rizzi book editor retaining the existing formatting. Here we have kept the italic style of the first paragraph and also imported the heading tag. Next thing we need to add to this is the map. So let's navigate to that from our hard drive and drag and drop it into the Rizzi book editor. From here, we can add a short caption and continue importing the rest of our manuscript. So we're nearly there. Let's add another heading, say. Selecting any of the text in the Reezy Book Editor brings up the formatting bar. From here, you're presented with a range of styles that you can apply directly to this text. Selecting the heading tag, not surprisingly, turns this into a heading. There are other types of styles that you can add as well, such as lists, quotes, and links. Okay, so I've jumped ahead a bit, but I've finished importing my manuscript. So here, as you can see on the left, I've got all my chapters properly completed and configured. And I think it's all starting to look pretty good. So let's move on to the export. So as you can see here on the export page, we have a range of functionalities that can help customize the final files. But before I get to explaining them, let's look at the book settings page. Here you can configure the optional metadata for your book. It's this information that we use to customise the front matter. As you can see I've already filled this in, so let's have a look at the export settings. So like I said earlier, we're going to be making a PDF. And I can choose between a range of popular trim sizes that all major print-on-demand companies support. I like the Reezy standard, and I think I'm going to choose the classic crimson theme. Confident that all my settings and stuff is correct, I'm going to hit export. In a few minutes, I'll receive an email with a link to download my file. So here we have the EPUB. 
As you can see, we have our personalized copyright page with all the information we filled out in the book settings, an automatically generated table of contents with obviously the metadata to go along with that, and also the custom crimson font loads beautifully in iBooks. So this EPUB file is compatible with all the eBook stores and it's great on every device. Um, as you can see, it's reflowable and it'll make your book look, look really, really good. So that's the EPUB. So for the PDF, we have two different versions. The print-ready version is designed to be sent directly to your print-on-demand company. Uh, this has some extra settings that will make it easier for them to print. Let's take a look at the desktop PDF. So similar to the EPUB file, looking really, really good. Text is all set to the baseline. Headings are kept with the previous page content if there's no room. There's some very advanced techniques going on here to really make your manuscript stand out. So once you're ready with this, uh, you can send it directly to CreateSpace um, and it's ready for printing. So we just typeset this 1000 page book to a really, really high quality. Um, so if you haven't already checked out the Breezy Book Editor, log over to Breezy.com and start creating your first book today. Uh, you'll be truly impressed with how good your book can look. Thanks for watching.